Frontier's latest DLC, the Park Manager's Collection Pack, has finally arrived, featuring four new dinosaurs, or prehistoric creatures as you say, the Thanatos Draken, the Segisaurus, the Microceratus, and the big boy that started the hype, the Megalodon. And we're gonna waste no time and get straight into it. And hello folks, and let's get right into it. We're going to start with probably the least exciting of the species, at least for most people, the Segisaurus. So let's get them out. Ooh, and above you. Oh, look at them squeak. Okay, so they're definitely a bit taller than Compies from the looks of it. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, and also one guy just teleported. Uh, hold on. Scientific innovation have made this very moment possible. Paleo curation is rarely straightforward, but is always immensely rewarding. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome the Segasaurus. Well, uh, Segasaurus, uh, lady, it's pronounced Segisaurus. Get with the program, please. Oh god, they are really tiny. So let's take a look at these guys, which... I will say they are looking pretty good, but they do look very much like... They kind of have the head of a Troodon, but the body structure of a Coelophysis, which... I mean, Coelophysis and Troodon basically have the same animation set, but, you know, they look good. Ooh, that's a nice one. Let's see, let's take a look. Oh, no, 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 that's nice. With the nice blue at the front. So, Sidiosaurus. I think for this guy... Oh, wait. Oh, jump scare, Jesus. Heart attacks. Gonna kill the poor soul as he just was born. Okay, so that animation social was uh, fairly similar to, if I'm not mistaken, the... Uh... Oh, well, we're seeing it again. They're changing rules. <laughs> kind of looks very similar to the uh, Baryonyx one, where they just, you know, go straight for the tail and such. I think the Baryonyx itself actually nips it instead of just going for the heart attack technique. Oh my god, they are so tiny. I don't even think they're gonna register the goat. That's my special. Right, we're getting a goat the this time. Oh, oh. It's okay. Nature is oh god, they're sinking to the floor. Oh god. Awesome. Oh, Owen's talking to the fake goat. Oh, wait. are they gonna get him or are they gonna get killed? Oh, oh my god, they are so much. Ah, and Oh, he's almost there. Oh oh, he just split into one. Oh, and he's gone. R.I.P. The goat I used to know. And that one's like, oh my god, am I next? He's like, maybe if I don't look, they won't see me. They're like, but we see you and we hunger. Alright, so that is their goat killing animation, just the same as like Compies and others. Let's uh, get some regular boring meat for them, just to um, compare. Shouldn't be too crazy. They'll all be like, wait, there's meat on the menu, boys. Let's see. Oh, oh, there's a thumbnail for them. They're going. Oh, he looks so happy. He's like, yay, we're getting goat. He's like, I hate you all. Yeah, but that's a nice thumbnail. Let's get a screenshot of that, you know? Just the. the go oh. There. <laughs> oh, okay. He's sending them flying. Will he escape, though? I don't think the goat can actually escape. I think they can for Compies, but I don't think they can for anything. Oh, there he goes. R.I.P. the goat I used to know. Oh, we're getting them on the meat. Okay, so they don't jump off like Compies. That's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, we got one coming from the grass. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, he stopped. He's like, I'm walking now. I'm lazy. Yeah, so they they do jump off when they're done eating, it looks like, but they're not like Compies where they just take a bite little chunk and go, this is my little piece, go away. <laughs> oh god. Hop! Hop skippity rabbit! Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's compare them in size to Celiophysis, Homalocephalae, and Compi. So we got one of each, let's see a Celiophysis. There we go, there we go. Okay, so yeah, like, he's like, got his knees up above the grass, this guy's like, just barely gonna cut over the grass and he's like oh my god you're big and also you can use these as like you know these guys can be the babies of these guys so you know works all nicely not too bad now let's Only waste no time and get compy so yeah like just from above yeah this 
uh, Segisaurus is looks like he's a little bit longer, but Compi might be a little bit taller because of um his, the way his head is. Like it just points up more bird-like than um the Segisaurus, I think. So I think he's he's still definitely bigger. Compi still got the championship for being the smallest guy, but yeah, and Homalocephalus, there's no competition. He's still not the smallest. Ah, uh, we got a JP3 mail today. Well, I mean, I picked it, so, yeah. Alright. Quick drink. Hey, don't get mad at me. I, I'm just hungry. I mean, thirsty. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. He's going for someone. Oh, wait, no, he's panicking. He's like, what have I done? Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. He's going for the sedgy source. And does he eat him whole? Oh, yep, he, he does. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Damn, he just did freaking eat. Oh, oh, God. Uh, broken back, Captain. Broken back. Broken back. All right, now let's get a proper capture mode of this. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, we're facing to the ground. As <laughs> you can throw any of the... <laughs> so basically, they're just... Oh, God. They're like, oh, God. They broke his back. We didn't mean to break his back that badly. Oh, and... Oh, oh. Oh, jeez, he just yeeted him off. He's like, get off of me! Ah! Oh, right for the knees. Dieter Stark him. Get him! Leave none of him left for the scavengers. I mean, the other scavengers. Oh, <laughs> he just went, oh, I'm done with this. <laughs> Take down! All right, and let's look at the skins, and we'll start off with him just, oh, God. We'll start off with him fully basic. Let's start from the bottom. All right, so we got Gambia, nice purple, uh, mangrove. Ooh, that's a nice green on mangrove, actually. Sonorian, yeah, very simple. Death Valley, great sand. Ooh, I don't know why that. I don't know why that reminds me of something. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but whatever. All right, and this is the base green, which. I gotta say, I love the little wrinkly effect that the skin has. It shows him like as older in appearance, kind of. I don't know. I like it. Ooh, Quillian not too shabby. Yukon. Yukon's always a good skin. Like, I don't know what it is, but Yukon always seems to nail for skins. Svalbard, your albino choice. And of course, Amazon Rainforest. So let's just use Amazon and then take a look at patterns. Are ooh, ooh, ooh toxic. I, oh, that makes it look like a frickin' um poison dart frog or something. Eh, the yellow's a bit better with this one. Uh, the black. Ooh, the ooh, that reminds me of a blue poison dart frog. That um, anyone who goes on Netflix and checks out um Life in Color with David Attenborough, then you that just gives you like poison dart frog vibes. God, that show is very short. Yeah, Litho Bates, it's the same, just duller and such, and more brownie. Chalkarana, uh, it's a good blue from the looks of it, but not right for this guy. And Rana. Okay, not bad for the skins, not bad. Not as crazy as I would have expected, but you know what? They're actually really good. As for Segisaurus, my friends, I've got to say that it's one that I'm a bit mixed on. For one, is because it doesn't have much uniqueness to it. It does lower it in the rankings. But at the same time, being a species that is technically canon to the franchise, even though it has not been on screen as of yet, it is a really satisfying dinosaur. It's one that I know a lot of people will be happy with because it's adding to the collection. And for those of you who are recreating Jurassic Park, it's one more species that we have on our list which is perfectly satisfying, but for me I'm going to put it forth just because while it is a satisfying creature, at the same time its lack of uniqueness does hit it back a little bit. It doesn't have any unique death animations that I have seen so far, and maybe some that I may have missed, let me know in the comments, but I don't think that it's going to win me anytime soon 
prefer these four species. It's a good species, but at the same time, its size and also lack of uniqueness does hit it back a little bit. Alright, and next we're going to look at is the flyer of the day, and that is Thanatos Dracon. Okay, yeah, he's not even going to be close to the size of Quetzalcoatlus. I mean, you can have three come out of here. But he looks... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, forget it. I don't need to hear the facts. Okay, these guys are beautiful. I'm... Like, okay. Oh, look at them go. Oh, okay, that is just an awesome looking pterosaur. It, it doesn't feel like the Jurassic style, which I'm, I'm a person who is fine with, personally. Like, I like the Jurassic designs a lot. But, like, this guy feels so unique. Not just in how he looks, but, like, well, yes, how he looks, but the way that he just, you know, flies around. He not flies around. He just looks so prehistoric. I don't know how to put it. He just looks so good, and these colors are really nice. Look at the blue and the fur on him. He's just oh, so pretty. Now let's see. Are you? You guys should. Oh wait, looking for food. I think so. You probably can detect the goat somewhere. Now let's see. What is he gonna do? Is he going to just um? drop him oh wait he's like i've got him in my sights and he picks him up oh 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 jesus dang okay nope he doesn't just drop him like a human he just uh you know goes for the classic um actually we put this uh choke slams him and then like fully just stabs him which is like dang that's Hold on, they're gonna fight, they're gonna fight. What's going on here? Or, or not. Man, you got me all hyped for nothing. Looking for food. Guys, look behind you. There's a nice juicy piece of lamb. Oh, they look, oh, they look so good. I am sad that we're not getting a flyer update, though, probably, because this is probably the last one we're gonna get for this game until Jurassic World Evolution 3 or whatever it's going to be named, but... Oh, oh god. Whoa, 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 No funny business there. No funny business, alright? I'm watching you two. But if you guys do funny business, we're going to have to look away. He's like, looking for food? Alright, let's see. How does he like to eat his fish? Uh, I was hoping his friends would be here because then we could see them like interact. Oh, they're like, you need us? We're coming! Oh, wait. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. They're just, um, oh, he just, like, nipped his beak. Maybe we'll get a better look at it here. Oh, God, nope, his fish just went. Okay, he tried to do the animation, but the other guy just left, so his fish just went, like, all, uh, psycho on him. Alright, one more of you guys, and then we'll um, take a look at you guys compared to the uh, Quetzalcoatlus and Tyrandons. And then we'll, you know, let you out and just uh, let you spread them wings. Definitely clear that these guys are bigger. I think these guys will be... I think they're around the same size as Jeans de Bergia, but it might be a little bit bigger from the looks of it. Which makes sense, I mean. But it looks absolutely awesome and way better than the Tyrandon in my opinion but you know now it's time to get serious and uh re re release this guy who could barely get out of there <laughs> yeah <laughs> titan you've got you know decent sized flyers and such they make people look small this guy just is a plane He's like, I have come for this new group. I, uh, one's foolish enough to try and fly this guy. Oh, two! Then he just starts, like, picking them off. Oh, we got one sleeping. Oh, very nice. Oh, he's looking at him sleeping. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, but we need to waste no more time. And 
We need to uh, drop uh, you here, you there, you there, and we'll just see how they are. And also, we have a little showcase of the free update coming later, coming later, have uh, patience. Okay, we've already got... He's out and exploring, he's like, what a beautiful world, everyone's scared to death. Now, how will he kill him? Will he do the classic drop, or will he um, go for a little bit more extreme? Or maybe he'll needle them to death with his uh, needle-like beak. Hunting prey, you say? Well, oh, wait. Oh, no, it is because Okay, he... Oh, 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 a little bit of a drag. And, oh, and... Oh, God, he just uh, fully just, like, smacked down. All right. And the other flyer's over there. Okay, so he just, um, he goes for a little bit of a drag and then, you know, decides, you know what? I'm just gonna choke slam you to the ground a little bit. Gives a little bit of a jerk at the end. Better shot of this and catch him. Oh god, he it just bounced. Boing! There we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh god. That just sounded hot. Okay, so let's see. Goes for the classic uh, drag. Up, 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 and oh boy! Oh, oh god! Oh, right in our butt. <laughs> He's like, whoever screams, like, please, please, not me. I, I've got a family. He's like, well, so do I. They're inside though. All right, guys, we're here. Let's take a look. Gambi, starting off with Gambia, which oh, that purple on the fur at the top, especially, just looks so good. It's like. It fades out when it gets to the wings and such, but that sharp, strong purple on the face is real good with that yellow um, eye lid. Ooh, that is nice. Oh, man, mangroves even bit. Uh, actually, I don't know. I think I think Gambia wins on this one. I think because I like the purpley fade on the wings here. Sonorian, Death Valley. Great Sand- Ooh, Great Sandy's not too shabby either. Champlain? Eh, would have preferred a bit darker. Ugh. Okay, that one I'll admit is not gonna be one I use often. Salar Dorohasco really does not hit well with flyers, in my opinion. Limpopo, not too bad. Quillian, nice grayish blue. Ooh, ooh, oh, he looks like- Okay, Yukon River. That, that's, that's the one. That, that kind of looks like, I don't know why, he reminds me of a penguin, especially the way he just falls asleep and the sounds he makes. Oh, that might actually be my favorite, just, <laughs> I have a penguin now. Svalbard, a blue, a bluer tone, and then Amazon Rainforest, not too shabby. And then the patterns, let's see, green on the wings and the beaks, which, let's see, without it, you know, it's a nice hot. It's a nice highlight, but it's not really affecting the uh, crest on the top, actually. Well, let, well, let's see. Not on this one, really. It's got a faint, but not really a hit too much. But, oh, but this one. Oh, Paparana really pops. Especially on the crest. I like that. And I love the little blue. Oh, okay, okay. That's not too shabby either. Lithobates. Definitely not on this skin, but it might work with another one. Chalkarana. The wings are very good. The wings actually are really nice on this one. And then... Rana. Well, the, the, the patterns on this guy are really good, I think. I think he's got strong ones, just some of them w will work better with other ones, definitely, compared to other flyers, actually. Not bad. So, in conclusion for Thanatos Draken, I gotta say, as the species that no one was expecting, and probably not one that most people were excited about upon it being revealed, I gotta say, it definitely deserves a reevaluation to those who didn't think it would live up to our satisfaction, because it is absolutely adorable, it is fierce at the same time, and it is really, really good. It's got a good set of animations for it, its uniqueness is, like, complete, like, there's no species that looks even close to it. The only one that would be sliver of close is Quetzalcoatlus, but because of their size difference and one's Quetzalcoatlus, one's this guy, you don't have to worry about that. 
And all in all, I would say I'm going to put him in third place in the ranking, mainly because while I do love him, I do love two others a bit more. Alright guys, now that we've seen those two, let's go on to my personal favorite, or the one I was most excited about. The little- oh god, I didn't make any of them. Hold on. Now that we have that, let's take our first look at the dinosaur that everyone has been talking about for almost a year and a half now, actually. Which, Jiminy Christmas, it's been that long since the Malta DLC, because that was the last Dominion one. Let's take a look at the Microceratus final. Oh, look at that, Yogi! Ooh, Yogi! Oh, oh, Mama, she died. Oh, look at him, Yogi! Oh my goodness, he's so cute, Yogi! Yogi, he's crazy. Oh, I just want to squish his cheeks. But then again. Considering the annoyance that it does for me when my sister does it, I will respect their boundaries and not do it at all. But look at them! Oh god. So yeah, they are tiny. And I think they're actually... They might be smaller than the, um, Homalocephalae. It's a good thing I made a few just to compare. But, we all have one question automatically on our minds, folks. If this guy is, like, Homalocephalae in any way, then we know that they must have had a buffet, so to speak, of uh, brutal kill animations for this poor little soul. So we'll take a look at that in a minute, but first of all, oh god, there goes another um, Thanatos dragon, and they well, they are noisy, I'm not gonna deny that. But also, before we um, release anything else, well, we actually have to release something, we have over here two more, which this is because of something that I did discuss in my um, trailer breakdown, which was the fact that we should be getting at least two variants, if not three, for Jurassic World Dominion. And I was correct originally, it was two, because we have two 2022 variants, as seen in the videos with Charlotte Lockwood, and also of the black market operations in Malta, we have the movie variants as well. And let's take a look at them. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. They are vastly different, actually. I mean, they were, of course. One was red, one was blue. But these guys are nice. I like the other ones, too, but these guys are nice, especially this guy, like... I was expecting to like the blue more, but I actually like the red and yellow and the nice stripes on this guy. He's actually really good. Yeah, they look so good, actually. And the oh, just look so cute. God, I remember when I first saw the little um, image of the an animatronic, and it was just like... It looked a little weird, because it looked weirdly boxed up. Oh, oh we're going to get the socialization. What's it going to be? Oh, it's so, it's so cute. They just give the little, little rubby rubbies. Oh, it's so cute. I hate myself for what I'm about to do. But we're going to have to see. I, I don't think there's any other animations that they'll have other than with each other. Uh, except for death. Oh, wait. We're going to see it one more time. Uh, oh, he's coming from behind. Well, then let's get into capture mode. Get re oh, well, that's as low as we can get. So, oh, God. He's like, I'm coming, sorry, it's just a lot of grass and short, okay? Oh, he's so cute, he's so cute, look at your face, oh, he's so cute. What's wrong with me, guys? I'm sorry, guys, I'm only, I'm only human, after all. But he's so cute. Now, I will say, though, I do wish they would... I hope for Evolution 3 that there's something that I want to talk about in another video that I think Microceratus especially, they should update with the rocks and uh, decorative plants because there's a lot of things I could do with the, these guys. But let's waste no more time. Let's see how he stands up to all these brutal deaths. Let's start with 
Another Dominion Dinosaur. The Atrociraptor. Ghost, it seems. She's probably like, where are my, where's my gang? Don't worry, they're in Camp Cretaceous. Well, at least two of them are. We still haven't seen Red yet. I also need to talk about that in another video, which next week's going to be a lot of Camp Cret Chaos Theory, because, well, it kind of has to be. They're like, oh god, there's a thing in here, he's gonna eat us! Run! There we go. Oh wait, no. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, he does a little bit of miss, and then the class- Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. How do you- How do you swallow that? How? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But how do you swallow him? How? He's like- Oh god, he's breaking the fo- Hello, hello? Oh, uh, he's not even phased! Not even phased! He's like, if I'm gonna die, I won't die in fear. Gotta respect that, Ghost. You gotta respect that. Alright. Alright, slow-mo it. So he misses... Swings around, does the shake, and then somehow, despite that frill, I mean, he's got the thick neck compared to a Velociraptor, but still. Oh, oh, God, they just, oh, that gulp, that was gross. Oh, he's not going for another one, is he? Nope, he's like, okay, uh, uh, he's not even full. He's not even full. You know, let's just waste no time. Let's also see how he does against a Carnotaurus. Specifically, Coco himself. Oh, look at him. He's like, hi. <laughs> he's just like, hello. And he's like, god damn it. Why couldn't you go for Bob? <laughs> that's just, that's gotta be the thumbnail of like, I'm dead, aren't I? Yep. Oh, we can't look. It's too gruesome. But we have to look if it's one of you guys. Oh god, they are way smaller. I did not real. Okay, I did not realize that, but yeah, um... Okay, so I guess because it's so small, like, it must register as the size of a compy, I guess, which... It's kind of sad, but Homalo's like, damn it, I'm still gonna get the worst animations. I'm gonna get squished. I'm gonna get stepped on. Why? And they're just like, well, at least we only have to worry about one thing. All right, so first we'll look at him and his um, evolution counterparts, and then we'll look at his movie ones. Uh, Gambia River Basin, not too shabby. It's like a lighter version of the Dominion one without the spots. Not too bad. Ma ooh, ooh, a proper purple boy. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Sonorian, ooh. Okay, looks like it looks like Microceratus is gonna have the win for all skins. Death Valley, Great Sandy, Champlain. Oh wow, Champlain. Okay, how is that one lighter than this one? Like, that's a darker blue. I'm not mad at the color, I actually like it. Just, it's weird that this one's showing as darker, but this one is the lighter, quote-unquote, lighter one, but is much more vibrant in the blue. This one's more... Got a greenish hint to him, actually, on the scales, if you look at them. And then, ooh, a nice earthy tone. Oh, uh, if we had one that looked just like the... Um, Jurassic World website, that would be so awesome. Quillian, Yuka, ooh, a albino is always nice. Svalbard, Amazon, ooh, a yellowy, ooh, nice. Nice yellow. And then let's take a look at the movie ones. Yup, the Dominion one that we see. Well, we see it in both scenes of Microsoft, but we mainly know this one from the scene with Charlotte Lockwood. Very, very nice. And then the um, Malta one that we saw, the red one, very, uh, I don't know what it is, but that one's really nice. It is a little bit lighter than I would expect, but I think it's because in the room that we had seen it, it was a 
less well lit room, so it made it appear darker, which makes sense. But let's go to um, Gambia and then let's start with the patterns. Okay, let's just see you quickly. Okay, so it looks like for the body pattern, it's off of variant B from the looks of it, most likely. And the frill, ooh, the frill's got some nice stripes of highlights. Oh, that's a really good one. All purple, even better. Uh, Pulcherina, not really, it, it's definitely a good one for something else, but probably not this one. Oh, ooh, okay, Lithobates, I like that. Chalkarana, eh, not too much news on the frill, but on the body, not bad. Oh, ooh, the run on the frill is absolutely beautiful. That's a, if this were bioluminescent, that would be so cool. Just the whole frill just lighting up like that, absolute gorgeousness. And where to begin with this guy? Microceratus, the species that, as soon as it was in Jurassic World Dominion, people loved it, wanted to see more of it for both the film and, of course, being added to the game. Of course, with the Biosyn DLC, we did not get it with that one, which we were understanding of, considering the fact that it wasn't shown in the Biosyn Valley. It was labeled as actually being there, so... We know that it was there, we just didn't see it. But we figured, well, there's a lot of species from Malta still missing. They're probably going to be bringing it there. But unfortunately, to the shock of literally everyone, of all the live-action species, it was the one that did not make the cut, leaving it and other Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs in the list of ones that we wanted. And each time they released a DLC, most people's first thoughts were focused on this little guy. And finally, after a year and a half since the Malta DLC, which is just scary to think about, does it live up to the hype? Does it live up to the hype that Dominion set for it? And I gotta say, yes and no. Yes, because it is so satisfying having it in here as one of my favorite species of all time, but at the same time, I do think it could have had more to it. I think that it could have been the smaller version of Homalocephalae with loads of different animations. They could have added loads of behavior things for it to make it unique, but they didn't, and that sort of lowered it down for me. But at the same time, my love for it puts it at first place just because I, I love it. Even though it's not the best technically in the pack, I'm being a little biased here, much like how I am with the Mosasaurus for any situation. I gotta put this guy at first place. But, let's move on to the big boy. Alright guys, we've looked at the, the micro-sized of the dinos to the height of the sky for the flyers, and now it's time to go to the depths of the sea, or this lagoon at least, because after years of anticipation from the fact we got that one image that um, showcased a fin-like piece of a marine creature for the promotion of this game, where everyone was like, oh my god, we're gonna get a big fish. We finally have it, one and a half years, no, no, two and a half years of this game being public. Here is the Megalodon. Oh, please tell me his fin is going to be above. Give us that, please. Do not fail with the hatching animation. Oh, it's a little. Oh, oh shit. I, I mean, sorry, but oh shit. Oh, 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 damn, with a big D, damn, that was, I, I forgot the music was, oh, holy crap, I forgot to turn on the music because I heard that this guy has like some awesome music to come out, which I think is the one they used in the little short that they posted on Twitter, but you didn't even need that, like, 
You put the jaws... Th oh, there's the kelp, which we'll look at a bit more in detail later. Oh, he looks so good. And he's chunky. And look at that snout. He's just like... It's a little bit smushed in, but like... That like... Mm, just when he was like cruising out was like... Dang. Like, oh, well, look at the kelp forest. That is awesome. Like... Da 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 You're gonna need a bigger boat. But, I mean, dang nuggets of damn. I did not think he would work in this game. But they made him work. The Megalodon is here. And this skin looks really good, actually. Kind of reminds me of um, the one from the Meg, actually. Because the Meg with Jason Statham, like, that one was kind of a moldish brown. And also, looks like, actually, a lot with spots, you got a bit of a stripey pattern. Ooh, does that mean we might have a tiger shark here? A what? Bit of a tiger striping on this guy. A what? You know, that might be pretty nice. Oh, shit. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, that gave me a heart attack for a second. I, I, my brain just, like, stopped for a second. It's like, okay, is he coming? Is he gonna eat? Oh, look at him go. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh Oh my god, my heart stopped there for a second. Dang. Well, actually, first, before we release a few more, let's see how he fares against a Mosasaurus. And then we'll look at him with others. I think... Oh, yep, here comes the Mosasaurus. The true ruler of the sea. Of the Jurassic Seas. But Mosasaurus, you must be aware, sharks were there before you. And they were there after. You may have been brought back as a titan, basically. You're a freaking kaiju, basically. How did it take so long? Oh, wait. Oh, 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 okay, the Moses. Oh, 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 and the Moses. Oh, wait, oh. Okay, they didn't actually kill each Oh, oh, God. I like the um, whites on the fin and such as well. It's like... I know for fun fact actually about Megalodon is that while it's portrayed in many cases as just being like an oversized um, great white, it's actually more related to the um, Mako shark rather than the great white, which is a f fact that when I learned I was like, really? I can't believe that. But it's true. Like all sharks, it's all oh, look at that, that stare down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That could be a thumbnail. Th oh, look at that. He's like, Hello, I'm Bruce. Like, that's just awesome. Oh, 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 God, oh. Oh. Oh, is he gonna kill? Oh my God, he killed him. The Megalodon. Killed by the true king of the sea. Boom! Oh, he's, oh, he smacked it with his tail! Nice! I don't know why, but he looks kind of cute. What you say? Uh, uh nothing. I mean, ferocious, ferocious. Uh, look at you. Look at those teeth and uh, those, uh, those chubby cheeks. What, what about my cheeks? Oh, they're kind of chubby and, uh, you know, look real nice. That's not ferocious. Did you say I'm cute? Uh, uh, uh. I'll kill you. Wait, wait, wait! I ah! ah! oh, sorry, folks. Uh, Rex is getting gross. Uh, he's occupied of it. Help! Help! He ate me! No, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I just uh, stomach crap. Ah, uh, you're here with me. My name's Bruce. Freaking ate me! Okay, I'm taking over. Forget this, you're not cute. You're a jerk! You ate me! You can't be cute. Boom! 
I will say though, while I do love the um shark animation, there's a part of me that um kind of feels like I don't know what it is. I think uh, how do I put this? The reason the Mosasaurus animation with the shark is still the best, in my opinion, is because it actually lets you feel the weight of the creature. You know what I mean? Like, yes, the Megalodon sharks can like jump all the way out and like land back in within a second. Not even like it could be faster than that. Like if you watch um nature documentaries and like see a shark eating a seal or something and jumping out. They have to slow that down so much because it's like, boom, gone. At the same time, the Mosasaurus is like a fast creature in itself, and it, like whales, can also do that. But the difference is that they like... The Mosasaurus, it shows it like a whale, the weight of it. I love the animation, it's great, but at the same time, I wish there was like more weight to it. Oh! Oh, swallowed whole. And... Yeah, he did. He retracts them a little bit. Not as much as I would have hoped, but, you know, that's fine. Hunting prey, hunting prey, let's see. Okay, let's take him. Oh, look at him! Look at his eyes! The devil's eyes. And then... Yeah, there we go. Look at him. Oh, oh, he looks so happy. He's like, yay, I got my shovel fish. Yay! And here we are, guys, at the big tubber himself, the Megalodon. And let's look at his skin, starting with Gambia, which looks absolutely... Ew, it's a blood red. It kind of reminds me of um, the Red Rex color palette for the novel Rexes, actually, which I can't complain. I love... Oh my god, I would love to see a Red R Rex in the franchise. Like, I love Rexy and such, at least when she's the right color and such, and I love the others, but seeing a Red Rex, I think, would be so awesome. Ooh, Mangrove as well, just, oh, that is a good blue. I wonder if there's a nice gray that's, like, proper great white, kind of. Sonorian, ooh, what's sunburned? Death Valley, ooh, that's a... That kind of makes me think of a lemon shark for that color palette. A little bit thick. Ooh, ooh, okay, and I gotta say the yellow um, gold stripe Indoraptor style, I think, kind of weakens this one a little bit for me. I think it would be better without the yellow, but the yellow is fine, actually. I just think it would have been better separate, but, you know, not bad, not bad. Champlain, ooh, a little bit too limey for me but you know what not too bad oh that's a much better green and the yellow there works much better right there yeah that's just nice limpopo ooh, a little bit much like the uh red one uh, gambia just um a bit browner which makes sense a molten brown actually not too shabby Ooh. And then that's like the classic great white color palette, Quillian Mountains. If you want it to be basically great white super size, Quillian's definitely the one. And then, oh yeah, this is um, this is also great white as well. This is great white as well. This is Bruce. This one's like more vibrant version of Bruce. Not bad. Ooh, ooh, okay. So these ones are basically like you can have these like be all related. That's nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. I gotta say, my favorite, I think... I want to see what this guy looks like with them. I don't know why. I think this one's gonna have strong palettes. Let's start with... Okay, so it's got... It's... Ooh, if that black one's anything like what I think it's selling, we might have a good skin with this choice. Those spots, eh, not really the best on this one. I like the color, but just not here. Oh, oh, okay, that's weird, but I like it. I don't know why. Okay, I don't like that. I like the more colory blue. The white just seems like it's um, been bleached or something. Little baits, there's no real stripes. That, well, there are some, just if you get to the back, but the front, they seem to fade out. And... Oh, damn. That's not a Megalodon, guys. That is not a Megalodon anymore, guys. That's a freaking tiger shark. A what? 
tiger shark. Oh my damn, that is gorgeous. Look at the straw. Oh, look at that from above. You get this in the water, and that's like going towards something. That's oh, that is awesome. I think that's my favorite so far. Like combination and such. That might be the winner. I, I'm not usually a Sonorian desert kind of guy with my skins. But damn, that is awesome, and that, ugh. Okay, this one's just basically the spots, but ugh. Rana is not working on this skin, but this, oh yeah, that is awesome. Okay, so, for the Megalodon, well, what to say, well, other than the fact that my comments about him being second place, um, no, he's tied with, oh, Microsaurus. I'm not putting him over because I'm I'm stubborn that way, and uh, yeah, that's my only reason because he is absolutely awesome. And also, I did manage to see it um get a kill against Mosasaurus. So for all of you who are worried that it wouldn't be able to fight back, not to worry, it can. Both of them are pretty much on even grounds from what I've seen because the one that I showcased in my um, little showcase portion for Megalodon did unfortunately bite the dust. Both him and the Mosasaurus were at base level at that point, but it might just be stats and stuff, and also for combat as well. It could be that they could both be at base, but if one of them has one more kill than the other, that could turn the tide. But for Megalodon, uniqueness is his winner. The only other thing that is close to him in terms of, like, being similar is Dunkleosseus, but that's because they're both fish, and that's literally the only reason. Megalodon is so unique that in some ways most people may think it just doesn't work for this game, but at the same time, it just means that it's one species that, like, you can't replace with something else. Much like for many people, the Mosasaurus. So for that, he is absolutely a win. His animations are very very good for the most part and even with my slight little complaints about him and his attack animation on a shark that one's just personal preference it's a great animation and all in all the megalodon does not disappoint Alright folks, and now that we've looked at the species and have marveled in them, we have a few things to talk about for the, well, a couple things to talk about for the free update. Which, well actually, two things plus one other thing. So first, before the free update stuff, we need to go over here and uh, take a look at the uh, T-Rex. Let's release our T-Rex. And here it is. This is Little Edie herself. Let me just uh, let her out into the world. Well, not the world, just uh, another section of her enclosure. Which, since it's been... I'd say... It's been two years since the Camp Cretaceous DLC. It has been a long time coming for this run. And I gotta say, it does look a lot different than than the Green Rexes, which I guess makes sense. Like, she was kind of a beigey green, but like, she looked very green in some of the episodes for Camp Cretaceous, which I know rubbed a lot of people off in the wrong way, but let's take a look at her mother, Big Edie, and compare the two. Yep, the nice blue... We're gonna move on to, well first, actually, we need to go to the right spot. We need to go to nighttime. So let's do that. And voila boom, shaka shaka boom. We have our first part of the free update, which is the lights, which if we go into decorations, if you go into the Lagoon Lights, this is the one for the Lagoon Lights. 
Now, the only difference is that there's like a few little pebbles around it, but this was a decoration that we have wanted for the longest time. Uh, just blinding everyone. Ah! Reveal yourself, vampire! Whoever! Frontier have done a great service and have listened to fans. And we have them on land as well. And like the other lights, you can change their colors as you can see here with this John Hammond statue. A bit of red for Jurassic Park, a bit of blue for Jurassic World. And like, let's just get into capture mode and get down here. Like, look at that. That just looks so cool. Like, imagine you get a dinosaur in between here, which is something I'm definitely gonna do. Well, we'll grab a sword. Pot skeleton. An Alamosaurus. Alright, so here it is. Just um, basic without the light. It's barely reaching. The intensity is barely reaching to the rib cage. With this light. Well, not this one. This guy. You can really give some perspective. And look how high it goes. Like, you can get it all the way up here. Like, you get one here, and then one on the other side. Boom. You get a full thing, and like, look at it. It's getting the head as well. Ready, and... <gasps> okay, sorry, just getting my oxygen tank set up. But the ultimate prize is the kelp. Something that has been staring us in the face for two and a half years every time we've opened the game. It finally happened. And... We get three different versions, and I was worried that because they labeled them as decorations, it would have a bit of a hitbox issue, but we'll get into it in a second. Actually, let's just grab it right now. Uh, let's see. Decorations. We need to go into Lagoon all the way up. Hold on, let me get down there. See that little square? That is how far it has to be. So, and like, not even in, like look, I'm halfway into the other square, and look at this. Like, you just add them wherever you need, just like squeeze them in, so like, you need it thicker, boo 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 Look at that. Impenetrable kelp force, and that's just one. And we have three different versions, which I lined up, yes, right here. You've got the one that I just showed you, the very thin, but more, well, not really long, the sort of youngsters of the group. Then you've got the much thick, the slightly thicker and slightly taller, the little teenagers. And then you get the ultimate thick boy right here. And like, they're just awesome. And they move with the water a little bit. They are a bit more stationary than I would have liked, and I do wish that they have some sort of interaction with the creatures. Like, if they swam through it, you'd see them, like, brush to the side and start doing a little jiggly-wiggly. But, all in all, I think that this is a good update. Like, it's small. It's very small, unfortunately. But, considering the fact that our last DLC had no update, this is a win. And guys, that brings us to the end of the video, and I must say I'm definitely happy with this DLC. If it is indeed the last one until we get Jurassic World Evolution 3, or whatever it will be titled as, I definitely think this was a strong DLC. The new species are going to be fan favorites for sure, as it's basically a fan favorite DLC. I want to know in the comments which ones you like as favorites. Is it the Megalodon, Microceratus, Sagisaurus, or Thanatostrakin? Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. What do you think of the updated features? Little Eden skin? Let me know it all in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Maybe liking, subscribing. Be safe out there. And remember, you, you are all amazing. Never forget that. Until next one, guys. Enjoy yourself.